Good evening, Izzy. I just remembered it was Monday. Um, I have spent my last few days coughing uncontrollably, uh, because I've got a bit of a chest cold going on, which is not fun. Um, but, whatever. That's just how it is right now. Um, you mentioned that your first deck that you picked up was from the original Ravnica block, Ravnica City of Guilds. Now, that came out I looked it up, it was either 2005 or 2007, I think 2005. So, if you then got that and then started getting 10th edition stuff, you started playing long before 2010, like you'd said, because 2010 is, I think, when I started playing, 2010, 2011, and I started right at the tail end of Rise of the Eldrazi and at the beginning of Innistrad, and I got into that and got a lot of cool stuff, um, a lot of which I've recently found out is worth a lot of money. Um, I've got a couple cards that are worth $30 a piece, so that's fun. I should put one of them in my commander deck, because that's a thing. I have recently gotten really into commander. I'm not very good at it. Um, my deck that I play is a merfolk deck that is aimed at milling. Um, for those people who watch this who aren't you and me, milling is when uh, you force someone to take cards from the top of their deck and put them directly into their graveyards. They can't use them, typically. And uh, it started out as just a merfolk tribal deck, but then I found out I didn't have a merfolk legendary creature. So I went and I went, oh, well, what's another color that I have? Oh, blue-black. Oh, this guy makes things mill. So that could be fun. And then I just drop a ton of creatures and then mill your deck out. So, <laughs> And if I don't mill your deck out, I hit you with a couple big creatures that I've got hidden in there. It's kind of fun. Um, I don't win consistently, I tend to have land issues, but I have fun with it, and that's what's important, right? Um, I also have a couple of the newly released Commander decks, I've got the red one and the blue one, which are slowly becoming my two favorite colors. I'm, I see a lot of appeal to mixing them, and getting like an it deck, having a lot of counters and burn and stuff like that, because those are my two favorite parts of magic, saying, no, you can't have that, and also take three to the face. Um, my burn deck for my 60-card casual stuff has uh, slowly grown and is starting to become a lot better than it used to be. It's still not very good. I need to tune it, but it works, and that's what's important. Um... But it's terrible against more than one person. If I'm playing more than one person, I'm not playing that deck because they just empty my hand and then I'm done. I, I empty my hand, one person is dead, and I'm going to lose is pretty much how it goes. It's fun, though, because I don't have to think when I'm playing it. I just drop all the things, throw everything at your face, and then you're dead. <laughs> Magic is a very silly game. Um, the I've been keeping up with it a lot. Uh, just, that's what I do on Sundays these days, I kind of just sit down and watch the Star City Games open. Uh, that's how I spend my Sunday afternoons. It's a, it's fun, and get to see some really high-level play and see some interesting combos. And interesting decks sometimes, you see stuff you never would have thought of, I'm just like, oh, wow, that's ridiculous. And people are playing it perfectly, and it's wonderful. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and go, um, I have eggnog sitting in the living room and I'm probably gonna go watch Sherlock or Black Mirror which just came on Netflix and it's amazing. Later days Izzy.